and welcome to week eight of the It Doesn't Matter podcast. And it's a very special edition of the podcast today because we're going to talk about WrestleMania and some of the best moments from WrestleMania history, WrestleMania moments and matches. And today we've got myself, John Lee, we've got Abel, we've got Don Williams, and we have a very special guest, 9-5, owner of American Pharaoh Apparel. And we're here to talk about wrestling, so let's kick it off. So, we have the golden era of pro wrestling, of WrestleMania, WrestleMania 1 through WrestleMania 9. We call that the golden era, mostly based around Hulk Hogan. All right, so, you, so what do you think now? What do you think, Abel, is one of the best matches from the golden era? Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior. You know I'm always going to go with the Warrior. Yeah. WrestleMania 6. Yeah, I know. The... Yeah, that's the one. Yes. I think wasn't the, wasn't the Warrior won that one, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he kind of passed him the torch. Well, we thought he was How long the was that torch? Because he only passed it for how long? I think it was a match stick. You know, they had the. Uh, um, they only had like four shots. Did they have some archers back then? No. no. So maybe the no, it, no, they did about 87, 88. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have SummerSlam yet. Okay, so he probably just had it and then. The superstar days, if they had superstars, and then he just held the title. Yeah, it wasn't that long, though. No, nah, he didn't hold it that long. Hogan got it back the following year. I think he had it until the uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah. I want to say. That. Yeah, because that's when Savage, have Savage interfered, and then that's when um, Slaughter won the title. Yeah. Yeah, back in those days, you could trace from WrestleMania, Big Show to Big Show, about where the title change occurred. So you're right. Uh, it's kind of, well, kind of go back to the Met. When the Mega Powers exploded, WrestleMania Five, Macho Man and Hulk Hogan going right at it. And uh, Hogan won the title. He beat Macho Man the night. He carried it to the next year, WrestleMania six in the Toronto Sky Dome, and against the Ultimate Warrior. And it was Clash versus Clash, passing the torch, as you guys said. Yep. And he did the honor, did pass the torch mm-hmm. to the Ultimate Warrior, but the Ultimate Warrior did not make it one year <laughs> to WrestleMania. You know, they had a big angle, uh, the Royal Rumble, and uh, got knocked out by the Macho Man with a scepter. And that led to two great matches at WrestleMania 7 that year. Yeah, we talked oh. about that the other day. Okay. Okay. I told you, that was one, of my, one of my favorite WrestleMania matches was Warrior and uh, Savage, the retirement match. Yeah. yeah. I think I might. I think I missed that one. I think so, I that. what he said with Warrior, or, um, yeah, Warrior get hit with the scepter, mm-hmm. losing the title of Slaughter. Savage had the feud. Was that when his Savage wife or uh, passed the scepter or something like that? Sherry. No, no, Sherry. Sherry. All right. Queen Sherry, Central Sherry, Free Sherry, whatever right. you want to call it. And then she, you know, asking him on his knee, on her knees, like, would you give Macho Man the title shot? And he, for some reason, just, <laughs> just did one yeah. of the numbers. And, no! And then just, it was just took off. But, yo, the story, it was good. It just, a lot of build up took back from the Royal Rumble. And then, <sighs> Savage, he whooped this dude. And the Warrior just went hot. Yeah. Hit this man with, like, what, four, three, four, five four. press lands or yep. whatever. And this dude kicked out. Yep. And then he's talking to his hands, talking to the gods and all that. Like, what's going on? Like, what, what, what do I do to deserve this? And then, <laughs> and then you know, he just walks off, and then Savage just did his thing, elbow, and then he kicked out, him with the splash, and then, yep. and then Sherry went nuts, mm-hmm. started beating up Savage, and then uh, Miss Elizabeth came running down yep. the aisle, and then whooped on Sherry. I gotta, and then, I gotta go back. To yeah, that. Man, gotta you're, gonna, you're gonna cry when you see Miss Elizabeth running down to save her old man, the Macho Man. She's about to die. She's about to die. I'm telling you, I seen her pass something to hit somebody. Or so yeah, I, mean, I seen her pass a belt. Fold the belt up and she hit and she gave it to Macho and he hit somebody in the head that with was it. a scepter. He, yeah, that was Sherry. Yeah. yeah, that was Sherry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Queen Sherry. Yeah. She's a ride or die. So who was your Golden Age wrestler in? For the Hogan era. The Hogan era? Mm-hmm. Oh, at that time, I, I say Hogan probably was. Yeah. Maybe Hogan, Hogan was the man. Yeah. Hogan was the man, yeah, it was Hogan. I didn't really start transitioning to like other wrestlers t- to like later, like Shawn Michaels and stuff. So. Mm-hmm. It was like more Hogan the whole time for a while. So what, so what made you um, transition to from Hogan to Shawn? Shawn Michaels, um, he, was, he was kicking everybody. I like how he was just he setting up the kick. <laughs> yeah. I like how he set up the kick. I, do that shit Hogan, now, I felt like the Hogan leg drop wasn't, unless you, when well, Hogan leg drop is yeah. effective, you like 6'5", you weigh 300, but yeah. I don't know, but I just felt like it just wasn't, it, was, it wasn't a cool move. It was just, no, it's crazy. It was decent, throw the guy in the ropes for him. No, it's crazy. Look at Shawn Michaels set you up for a kick. Like, yeah. You yeah. don't know where this kick is coming <laughs> from. He's up the band. And, and, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that's not like. So you was happy when you kicked Brett's head off? And oh, I was back? happy as hell when you kicked Brett home. I was happy as hell. But they ain't no like here. Brett, Brett, I, I like Brett, Brett Hart until he started going against like Shawn Michaels and Austin. And I was like, all right, Brett, look, you're taking it a little too far. 
you know. So who's your favorite in the Attitude Era? Attitude Era is definitely um, Stone Cold. Uh, that's you said the Rock is in the Attitude Era, right? Yeah, the Rock. Oh yeah. Um, and Shawn Michaels, I would say. And Razor Ramon was my guy too. Yes. He I, can, I can understand. Yeah, he passed away yeah, two years ago. Yes. All right. So how can you have all three of them be your favorite? Yo, it's I don't know because I was I was just switching up one time. Was, <laughs> one day, do that. I was just switching up one day. Yo, how's the weather outside? Yeah, the weather's always switching up in New England, so I can switch up a little bit. So it just it's, it all depends. Like I don't know. I probably was my mood sway. If I had to add to, I was probably acting like Austin. Yep. Yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was I don't know. It's probably I just kept switching up. When you feeling yourself, you're the rock. Yeah, on the rock. And then yeah. we get you with cheese mo. Yeah. Yo. Isn't that absolutely true? You know, when you're in that pissed off mode, you are Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes. When yeah. you're feeling cool, confident, I'm mm. the man, Razor Ramon. Don't you wish you could Razor Ramon, yeah, when you trying to lay down the law, <laughs> man, you lay down cool. school, I Ramon. wish I could stun somebody else at work. Uh, my one of my favorite matches actually too was um from the Attitude Era was the Razor Ramon ladder match. With Shawn Michaels. Yes. And, uh, we, we talked about I think it was that. big in your house. Is it in your no, house? No, it's SummerSlam and they have one at WrestleMania as well. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So I get confused. But yeah, there, there was a match. I like that match. That match was good. Do you know what color Shawn was wearing? I think he had the white. Think white? So that's WrestleMania. Yeah. That's the WrestleMania one? Yeah. <laughs> that's the WrestleMania one? Yeah. Yep. So that's it? I was right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> WrestleMania 10, the infamous uh, ladder match, Razor and Owen, Shawn Michaels battling over two belts because who knew who the real Intercontinental Champion was at that time? And that was a turning point for a lot of So question for you. DX or NWO? Oof. Damn. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> were you throwing it up or were you telling everybody to suck it? What were you, were you trying to do this? <laughs> <laughs> now I'll say everybody suck it. I'll say everybody suck it. I'll say everybody suck it. I think everybody. Oh, yeah, y'all knew it was hell. Suck it. Are you a child? Yeah, I'm in trouble for that. Yes. Yeah, I think we all have trouble for that. I would have mentioned the gym class. I would say oh. everybody. Yeah, we didn't know. We did not know. <laughs> DX was everywhere. So was the NWO. Yeah, they were everywhere. I mean, DX, uh, they had a big transition at one of the WrestleManias here, WrestleMania that took place in Boston. You know, that was when Shawn Michaels lost the title to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then oh, Mike yeah. Tyson was in the corner. Mike Tyson or outside. Hit, and he hit, was, uh, I think Shawn Michaels. After the match, yeah. knocked his ass. He was, according to Shawn Michaels, he wasn't supposed to do that. He wasn't supposed <laughs> to drape a t shirt over <laughs> Shawn Michaels' prone, knocked out body. But you know, Shawn, you know, kind of, he had an injury, disappeared from uh, the WWFE for uh, some time. And the very next night on Raw, uh, a new member of DX, X Pac. You know, yeah, X-Pac. Yeah, X-Pac. He was, used to be the one, two, three kid. One, two, three yep. kid, Remember? six, lightning yeah. kid, Japanese kid. Oh, oh, dude. Did that boy, <laughs> kid. Did that blow your mind as a kid when he came into the NWO as six and someone just said, oh, it's just three, two, one, yeah. run it up together. Yeah. It's, <laughs> that's WCW creator right there. Huh? Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Genius. This one for now. This one for now. Quick note about um, WrestleMania 14, Shawn Michaels. Yeah. You know, at that Royal Rumble, he had that match against the Undertaker. Yep. So you know his back was all fucked up. He took that back body drop outside and landed that casket. casket. Oof. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was fucked up. It was like bar- they had a bar- was it like a very a casket yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. Awesome yeah. Match. yeah so. I thought it was a very alive match or something. Nah, no, that's that was a bit. No, like Foley yeah. Man kind of. Oh, yeah, you were like John. Yeah, yeah. so uh, he's definitely in there. He was in pain. Like, yeah. but if you watch that match now, watch him walk down the aisle like. Yeah, I it, don't know how the hell he, he managed. Was, he was in pain. It, it, it was bad. But then, like, when yeah. the bell rang, he went Shawn Michaels. Man. Anyone anyone who has suffered through real-life back pain and sees that match the moment it happened, no, you twice. feel it. Twice. Like, the past three years, twice. Oh. It, just to even get up in bed, got right. in bed, it's just like, oh. It is awful, dude. And for him to do, what, yeah. 20 minutes? That was 25? Match. That was how, long was, how long was the regular match? It all depends. A good match like that? It was like, yeah, about 20, 25. Yeah, for the title, yeah. if it's for the championship, about 20, 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's about a good time. Unless you're an ultimate warrior. Man. There was a fight I watched. I don't know. I have one of the DVDs. Mm. It's like three hours long. I feel like the fight, the fight, it's like, it's like never stops. <laughs> <laughs> it just, well, it just you, keeps going. It was going. the best of the Iron Man yeah, matches. That's must, why. It must have oh, yeah. been. Yeah, that's it must have been. That shit took forever. Nah, it was actually like a bury alive, I feel like. Yeah. The, the, the fight was taking place in the ring, then it went back to the the mm-hmm. dirt, then it went back to the ring. It was just, it was, it was like, it was like three hours long. It was like one of the fights. <laughs> it was like three hours long fight. And I think Shawn Michaels was getting, like, tore up. Like, somebody yeah. was beating him. It could have been Undertaker. 
just tear them. So I was tear them up. You remember that Hell in a Cell match between them? Oh, oh yeah, the Hell in a Cell match was crazy. That was crazy. The, King debut. It's gotta be Kane. Was was that the debut? That's Kane. Yeah, the very yeah. first one. Kane ripped the door open. Yeah. Oh shit. What, for real? I didn't know that was 97, I want to say. Yeah, and after yeah. that, then yeah. after that, was Undertaker. Or then after that, that Monday in Raw, yeah, you're right, because I, I was trying to understand who the hell was that guy that, because Monday in Raw was the next day. Like, they had yeah. Raw the next day. Yep, yep. I remember I was trying to figure out that King character. Like, who the hell was King? That's his long lost bro. oh, that's that's right. brother. Yeah, yeah. He got burnt up. It's a very wild time in the WWF at that time, because a month later was the Montreal Screwdriver. Was it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that, that crazy time. Yeah, you know, 97, 97 was hot. 97 was hot. 97 yeah. was the Attitude Area, and it kicked off with uh, WrestleMania 13, probably one of the worst WrestleManias of all time. However, it was, saved, best matches. it was saved by yeah. one of the best matches in WWFE history, uh, Bret Hart versus uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin in a submission match. Yes. Yeah. yeah but we you just watched that last week. We just yeah. watched it. You know, it was just crazy it's how... still live up? Oh, yeah. It's still oh, one of the greatest matches. still one of the Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just crazy fine. how Brett was a good guy, also the bad guy, but they rolled just reversing that match. Yeah, they switched up. It was happening though because everybody was cheering for um, Steve as as he kept breaking the rules and you know saying yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah! You know what's crazy is I don't even know when I started liking Stone Cold, but he came out of nowhere and I was like, oh shit, I mm-hmm. like Stone Cold, and I didn't like him at first. And I was a Brett fan. That's the thing. Like I was like, who the hell is this arrogant prick? Yeah. Fucking, it's crazy. But who's this bald mother? I was, a, I was a rock guy. Shoot, I can't talk. When I'm Rock was <laughs> put that back. When Rock went to you know talking to third person, that's why I became a fan of him. Yeah, <laughs> when he threw a mask on, like, no, you roll, shut your mouth, and Jabroni, I take down SmackDown Boulevard. You didn't care for the Rock when he was defending the United States against the Sultan. Nobody cared about Smiley Dwayne Johnson back then. Nobody cared about Tom. Nobody cared about the, oh, so <laughs> Nobody cared about the Ringmaster. Yeah, Stone Cold. You started seeing the more character base when um he started like saying basically like fuck you to Farouk. Like every time Farouk would say something, he was like, okay. Who is the best athlete in wrestling? Right now? Now? Like, oh. in, in, like or ever? Yeah. Ooh. That's easy. Val Ooh. Venus. Val Venus. Val Venus. Val Venus lasted like a year in wrestling. <laughs> that is Val Venus. Now he's selling weed. That's what yeah. he does. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sean now I was thinking, I was, I was thinking maybe Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio, yeah. he's athletic. Hall of Fame, this yeah. Year. Oh, he's in Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, this year. year. Yep. That's what Who do you think would be Mr. WrestleMania? We yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Mr. Was, WrestleMania. Mr. WrestleMania. Mr. WrestleMania is uh, some people. Most people think it's Shawn Michaels because he's had a, a long list of uh, really good matches. Yeah, great matches, great performance at WrestleMania, but he has a win loss record of six and eleven. Right. So, what do you think is more important? No, win loss record or actual moments? Win loss. Yeah. Win loss record actually. Uh, Shawn Michaels has a really big. Loser. I would say. I would say. I would say the experience is more what matters. So the moment, going, if you yeah. go into the, you can you can go to the chip, man. Time to lose, but at least you win it a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> you win a bunch of times oh, more yeah. than everybody else. Yeah. Well, well, you remember that though. You remember that? You probably well, lost every one, but well, you, <laughs> <laughs> you went to the chip though, like. That's what that, that is. So, I'll, yeah, I would say. Like, he won. Like, he won. 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 Rick Flair is my man. Did you like him back in the day? Or I, I, I always like Rick Flair. All right, he so I was going to ask you if now that he's in the main scene doing this thing, Rick Flair drip and got the blue wings and the video and all that stuff like that. I'm trying to say my guy. That's my guy. Flair got drip. Flair got swag. Flair yeah. can't, you can't, yeah, wait you can't buy you, that. You, you, you can't, can't buy that. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that, that guy, man, he's what, all okay. What if Ric Flair had never won a match at WrestleMania? He's still cool? Hell yeah. Yes. He's still Absolutely. Man. He's still a man. Ric Flair still a man. Rick, man. Yeah, he can never have won it. He can never have won yeah. to the motherfucking WrestleMania. Rick he's still a man. The it's the swag. Yeah. Yes. It's Speaking the of that, has Ric Flair won a match at WrestleMania? I don't have Rick Flair. Yes, yes he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He oh, won WrestleMania yeah. 20, Evolution Rick. Yeah. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. The Rock and McFuck 20. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Yep. So many spoilers for you today. Mm-hmm. Won that. Wait. No, he lost his you, know, you know who else has swag too? And I don't even think he ever won a match. I don't, I don't, Million Dollar Man. Have you ever won a match? <laughs> <laughs> you ever won a match? You can pay everybody. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what I remember it was counting money and having a belt, but I never seen him defend the belt. I don't, I don't even know how he got it. Poor Virgil. Nah, did he, did he beat Virgil at WrestleMania? 
Uh, no, Virgil would be him. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Million dollars. That feud was he had the swag though. Million dollars. Yeah, but he had the belt forever, bro. You're right. Yeah, who did he, who did he defend it against? And you know, that million dollar dream was that was. I like that move. Yeah. How, how many times have you seen him do that move? He just had the swag, but I ain't never seen him do anything. Just, so it'd be an extra hundred to put up that million dollar game on you know? What do you think about that versus the Cobra Clutch? Is that the same move or is that same different? Same move, same same move, move just different, differently named? Yeah. Cobra Clutch is a good move. But the other uh, Golden Era, Hulk Hogan Era stars, um, the first WrestleMania main event, of course, is Mr. T and uh, Hulk Hogan against Mr. Paul Orndorff and Rowdy Roddy Piper. You like Rowdy Roddy Mr. Piper T. guy? Oh, Roddy Piper. You got yeah, some yeah. attitude, doesn't he? Yeah, Roddy Piper was cool. He was yeah. cool. Uh, then he did that movie, what's that? They Live. Oh. They Live, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I've never seen that. For real? It's a good movie. Oh, it's like, everyone's it's actually good. good. I'm not saying that. that. Uh, Kick ass and chew bubble gum, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I've seen that. Line. I remember watching that as a kid, like on free TV. You know, it was just kind of like never, never seen some last. You remember the movie Suburban yeah. Commando? Oh no, that sounds very awesome. That's yeah, I with Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he, he was in that boat. Nah, he, that's, that's done in Paradise. Done in Paradise. Nah, I was telling him that the Undertaker was in Suburban Commando. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. telling him that. Dude. We saw. <laughs> they never seen it. I opened the line. I was like, what the hell? That's what he is. Come on, Mark. Funny stuff from uh, the Hulk during his Hollywood acting career. Oh, man. It was pretty good. It took Three ninjas. What was the movie? He, no Holds Bar. No Holds yeah, Bar. Yeah, yeah. Debo, Zeus. Well, Zeus and yeah. Debo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Cool. That was good. Cool. Yeah, they brought that shit to life. Yo, they don't got that on Netflix. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I got that DVD. I got that DVD. I'm trying to watch that later. They put that on Netflix. Oh, man, that movie's terrible. What's that smell? <laughs> Dookie. Okay. I'll be like in the I'll be like in the worst quality movies. I don't know why. Well, Killer those season. Those I'll be like, yeah, the best one is Killer Season and all that be like I'll be like in the worst shit. You know, speaking of Hollywood and acting, you know, we were talking about The Rock earlier, you know, Mr. Hollywood Superstar The Rock, some of the Rock's uh, best matches at WrestleMania. He wrestled Stone Cold Steve Austin three times. Yeah. And he only won them won them one time out of those three times. And have you ever seen any of the Rock versus Stone Cold matches? The yeah, but I, I, I'm not sure which one. I, yeah. Probably, I'm not sure if I'm familiar which yeah. one I saw. But I'm not sure one of them. One of them was, was, was one of them like a WrestleMania? It was three of them WrestleMania. Oh, three of them 15, 17, and 19. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the first time the Rock came yeah. in as champion, the corporate champion. Philly. So I think that's the one I saw. They had the yeah. old belt. Not the old belt, but it had the like big, the, new, the, the big, big old. Yeah. That yeah. was yeah. blue, I think. Yep, yep. yep. It was that. So is that the first match? Around? Yeah, that was the first WrestleMania match. So that's the one I, I remember seeing. Also memorable because Stone Cold walked into that match wearing a t-shirt, not his signature vest, you know. Was it that? Yeah, they have the 316? Was the 316? There's, a, there's a, the shirt with the yeah. rattlesnake hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. He forgot his vest, and so I was like, it's just, you know, the costumes, all that's part of the pageantry of WrestleMania, and he comes out in a t-shirt that anyone can get, right? <laughs> it's kind of like, this is, oh, this is whack. Really. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about Triple H? Mm. Triple H. Everybody hated him. Like, yeah. People liked him when he was in DX. So they thought he yeah. was yeah. Cool. yeah. I liked him in DX. I liked him, yeah. but when he was um, but after that, I didn't really. Turn well, even up. before that, I Hunter like, Hearst. When he was Hunter Hearst, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I like that. The Grinch movie. When he went to DX, that's when he's when he was like tougher in DX and all. I was like, I. Do you see? Do you see him as the game Triple H? That you know, when he was past all that, no. Nah. Not a superstar to you. Nah. Not one of the all-time greats. Nah. Nah. Like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah. It's, <laughs> Yeah, it's nah. like Austin Rock. This, yeah, this level, I feel like, like he's just. A, I feel like if we was comparing him to basketball, he's like Carmelo. Yeah, uh, he's I like get Carmelo. I get it. Like, he's, like, he's a name. He's there. He's, he's there, there. He's, there, there. he's, he's not there. there. Yeah. I get it. Oh. He's in the score in the top scoring <laughs> list. He's up there, but he ain't up there. Like he's there somewhere. Triple like, Carmelo's actually up there, man. Oh man, oh, he back down there now. Oh yeah, what's going on? What's going on with him now? Yeah, Triple H, I saw I don't I wasn't too much of a fan of What about tag teams? Like who what tag teams you like back in the day? One of my yo, you're gonna lie, um the Bushwhackers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the yeah, I remember them. Yeah, yeah, they always play people's faces and they off hits. Yeah. <laughs> it's just oh, crazy. It's just nasty. Got the Bushwhackers, got the Nasty Boys, uh, <laughs> Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom was oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like they, I like the, the little football spikes. joke with the spikes. I like yeah. that. That was cool. That's probably the best costume. Yeah, that's probably the best. 
Your Duke Ted DiBiase with the IRS. Money ain't. I remember when he had like he had a little briefcase. He was, yeah, <laughs> no, I remember. He not a shame. Knocked Bruce out with the the briefcase. Had a brick inside the shit. He's got to be reinforced with a brick inside. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else was my favorite. Oh, y'all probably remember the Rockers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was my. That's when I, I knew I knew about I knew Mike was then, but I liked them then and then when they separated. Yeah. What about Marty Janetti? I ain't like Marty. Nobody like that. Yeah. Oh, come on. Sorry. I couldn't tell you what Marjorie looked like right now today. Yeah, so I could have walked past no. him with Dean. No, 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 yeah. yeah, bad guy Shawn Michaels. He's better heel than the baby. Yeah, definitely. Mm. He's more, more, yeah, he's it's more his personality. Well, he yeah. took he he adopted sensational Sherry after she left the Macho Man. You know, <laughs> she, she was his second for a while. And they they kind of tore it up. I'm telling you what, for that time, Sherry was hot back in the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. scary Sherry. Mm-hmm. I had an ex named Sherry. Let's cut that off. Wait, you think scary you, Sherry? Y'all think, y'all think China was hot? <laughs> Once she had like the implants and all that stuff, yeah, she was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they ended her up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, nah, nah, she was too manly. Uh, Remember how she used to do Marlena with the bear hug? Oh, yeah. Yo, wrap her around. Look, when Stone Cold stunned her, it's for a reason. It, yo, she was yo, a, that was yo, that shit. We never seen that. That shit was dope. She I did. saw it live. I yeah? Saw, yeah? Well, they did it twice. They must. They had did it one time on TV and we saw it on pay per view, and there was another time they came to New Haven, and I oh, went there, but it was like on a Sunday. It was like a recording on a Sunday or something. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because they did they did uh, live they did one take. It was something like that. Yeah, but he stunned her again. I'm like, oh, sh-. yo, she got it twice. The first time, I think she gave him the bird. Mm. You know, she was talking. She was talking her shit to him. He's walking out the ring. I'm not gonna mess you. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Next, you no, know, she turned him around. Bam. Yeah. He <laughs> he the bird. He. <laughs> yo, so, yo, you gave me the finger. Oh hell. Yeah, yeah. There's never gonna be another person like that. No. Not not China. No way. Asia. Remember Stop her TNA? It. Stop, <laughs> it. Stop it. Oh, not with WCW. Not with WCW. <clears throat> what about Sable? Sable oh, was bad. Sable was bad. I'm not saying nothing, though. Bro, that's Brock's wife. Brock yeah. and his wife. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's his wife for real? For real, for real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I never knew he was dating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Do you remember? Like, the one with the lady. Uh, we don't remember see Mark Merrill, Johnny B. Ben? That's his ex wife. Stable was his yeah. ex wife. Yeah, that's his ex wife. Then yeah. Brock took her away. Literally. <laughs> Is Brock still in wrestling or oh, yeah. he's back he's, in? He's fighting WrestleMania. Oh, yeah? He's fighting Omas. Yeah, Brock Lesnar's back and tearing it up. A lot of, a lot of uh, WrestleMania marriage with Brock Lesnar because he's always no, he's doing a, something crazy at WrestleMania. He's a main event guy. Brock is the man. I, I think he's slowly creeping up to my top five. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he's a t- What y'all think about John Cena? <laughs> Is he top five? Yeah. Yes. Top, John Cena's top five? Yeah. Huh? You know, it's crazy. Back when Cena was there, like, I didn't appreciate it. We didn't. Yeah. We said the same thing. So he yeah. he was getting like the like right now he's getting like the Roman Reigns treatment. But when this dude shows him on TV, it's So you say he's top five. Top five. Yeah. Yeah. He's top five. Right now? Or all time? All time. Is he is From, he in the all time? Yes. 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 All right. All right. Yes. Actually, yeah, I will put him in my top five. He's he's top five. He's all time? All time. All time. All time? All time? Yeah. Yeah. Cena's you too? Five. <laughs> <laughs> top ten at least. Cena, my top five. Top five. All right, all right. right. Just close yeah. though. Cena, Cena went to war. What's his memorable matches? Ooh. So I can watch. I gotta see all like right. AJ Styles. I, I never got to. I never seen him. I never yeah. seen him. him I, and AJ I got Styles. a DVD for you. You want to borrow it? But uh, <laughs> him and Shawn Michaels yeah. at WrestleMania. So who won? Twenty two. Cena. Cena won that. What about that match with him and AJ? Who was it? AJ. That was 16, 17? AJ, AJ. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Damn, I'm trying to put nah, a face to him. Nah, he, he was nah. impact. TNN, he didn't. So, yeah. Now, nah, he was nasty. Yeah. Cool. In his prime, AJ Styles was nasty. If you put... Matter of fact, you said the most athletic... AJ. AJ Styles? AJ Styles. Yeah. AJ Styles. Yeah. AJ Styles. Is, he got long hair? Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I did see like, like a clip of him. Yeah, I think I did see a clip of him one time. He is... I want to say he's... He didn't get hurt. And he was more on TV. He beat this generation strong like this. Mm-hmm. Injury styles? Yes. Oh, he's just injured now. Well, I'm <laughs> just saying, if WWE got him when he was younger, yeah. 
yeah, he would be right. Shawn Michaels. I, I saw a little blurb online that said uh, AJ Styles has wrestled more matches in WWE since he debuted than TNA for like 10 years. Are you serious? Yeah, that kind of makes yeah. sense because TNA only ran like you know, once, maybe twice a week at most. That's true. And so you have house show loop, uh, you know, three, four days and you know, pay-per-views, all that stuff. So, yeah. So now TNA, is that like a new platform, wrestling platform? It's on Thursday work? nights on... They've been around for like 20 plus Access? Years. It, it's been around for Wait, minute. TNA, that's the one where I think Rob Van Dam was with them, right? Yeah. They they were, were, yeah. Almost everybody ran Everybody, 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 everybody left WCW and WWE, F, they all went to TNA. Sting was there for a little hot minute. What's funny, like, you know, now they start putting their, their shows, Impact TV shows, on their streaming service. And they're like, oh, look at this. This is Sting and Jeff Hardy on Impact, and they're having a match. And it's like, oh, that's so cool. But you also have to think back, man, their booking sucked back then. You don't yeah. want to watch this stuff. It's yeah. horrible. <laughs> it's just crazy because when yeah, Sting sound. left TNA, like, WWE yeah. didn't acknowledge that. No. Sting's been gone for years. Like, no, nah, he just wrestled like last yeah. month. Like, what you talking about? But that's how bad Impact was. At the yeah. time. WWE botched Sting. <laughs> yeah. I got a question. Rob Van Dam is he in the top? Top oh. five. Top ten. Okay. No, I don't want to see five. Nah, nah, nah not for me. Five is last. Two. Nah, but he. He not the top ten. If you go by the. I said here, like I was away from wrestling, but I used to see people here and there. If you if you say from ECW, he's top five. Another match we watched, Cena and RVD. Yes. Oh, RVD and Cena? Yes. yes. What, what, um, one night stand. One night stand, 06. 06. You got Peacock? Yeah, I think I got Peacock. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. They got all the WWE shit on there, man. Watch that. that little tab. The crowd alone just yeah. makes it. It was an ECW crowd. Have you ever seen ECW? ECW crowd? Have yes. you ever seen ECW? Yeah, that's crazy. It's like, yo, oh, yeah. oh, it was. Rage. Yo, I mean, I'm just about thinking about it right now. Yo, so, Cena. They didn't like WWE. They didn't like nothing about WWE. It was an ECW crowd. It was a Hammerstein ballroom in New York. So every night, Cena so gets in the ring, right. takes his shirt off, and throws the shirt to the you know, little kid. Get it? Yeah, yeah, I seen his shirt. Nah. Some dude had that shit. Fuck you, Cena. Threw that shit back. <laughs> Cena like, oh. Then he took the shirt on to the other side. Boom. Same Black thing. dude gave him the bird. White dude with his ass. Oh. And threw that shit back. Yo. She, she just gave it to the like the bring it out. Like, yep. I'm about to do this. Like, yeah, that shit was hostile. It was, not, it was crazy. Win. That shit was, was hostile. Seen this, he didn't know what to do. That's Yo, there, there and was, he lost. There was a literal. Yeah, seen the loss. Yeah, seen the loss. There was a title. sign saying if he won, they would riot, and they were. Oh yeah. They would riot. They would. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god, that's, that's yeah. not crazy. Yeah. That. <laughs> oh man. So why, why that never blew up like that? Like, why is WWE? It was only yeah. one show. That's all it was. It was only a revival show. Yeah, they, they were in the red, man. They, <laughs> they, were, in the red. they were in the red. They couldn't pay nobody. Yeah. So the guy who was running the show, Paul Heyman, he um, left ECW and went to work for Vince. Just so he could, you know, any salary that he made so he could pay his dues. That's the mm. kind of stand-up guy he is. Yeah, know? I get the idea of Paul. His, yeah. his due for that. Because he could have easily just pocketed all that money. <laughs> Jeez. But he said, you know what, you guys still here, you're loyal, you know, take And you know what? He didn't tell his guys that he was leaving. So they were pissed off, like, whoa, you just gonna leave? They lost the TV deal and everything, but he still took care of him, so Yeah, he took care of him. Paul Heyman. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Yeah. Wise man. Yeah. Wise man. Thank you. Yeah, Paul Heyman, you know, he treated all his uh, former employees, his, his wrestlers, very well. Like, the one in particular that came to my mind was Dawn Marie. She was on SmackDown for like a year or so. It's yeah. like, what is she doing here? Did she get yeah. pregnant? That's yeah. why she left? <laughs> yeah. She had a big angle with Tori Wilson and Al Wilson, Tori's yeah. father. And she was R- pregnant. R.I.P. R- yeah. Al. That's what this Who was your favorite female back in the day? I don't want to say Diva. I hate that term. Uh, Diva would be sick. Yeah. Sunny, Sable, there's the Asmir, or yeah, just for him in general. Five Sable. Sable? Yeah, Five Sable. Did you see Trish and Lena? Do you remember them? I don't, Lena, I'm not, I don't, I'm not attracted to Lena. <laughs> Lena <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Lena look wild. Lena look wild. So, was it the red hair? The it farm, was, the that was everything. <laughs> just, <laughs> big tattoo just, and all that. It was the craziness. Like, it was, yeah. she was crazy in the room. So, like she would bite you or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was she's fine. She's, 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 she's fine at WrestleMania as well. She was fighting years. I haven't seen fighting before. So, uh, how far did you, uh, you know, watch wrestling? When did you stop watching wrestling? That's the question. I probably stopped when I started watching basketball heavy. I got into like basketball heavy. That's probably like in. I could have been like in 
seventh grade, maybe right. seventh grade. Yeah, it's like two thousand one or something like that. Oh, so all right, so that's uh yeah. So I missed everything from like all right. So Hogan Rock. So <laughs> huh? You miss Hulk Hogan and the Rock WrestleMania. You missed that. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely missed oh, that. Man, I missed that, 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 that yo, oh. that was lit. Yeah. Okay. The match wasn't anything serious, but the crowd made it like it was important. I probably watched that match the most of really? many matches because yeah. I love absolutely love the crowd heat of of the the Sky Dome, the fans just going crazy for the moments, and Hogan and Rock are two. You talk about just pro just pro wrestling. Just yeah. never mind anything else. They are two of the best. You want to yes. tell Rock you want to top five it? There you yeah, go. They, yeah, yeah, top five. Yeah. They do. Especially if you want to see the top fives fight each other. They're going to be in the main events of WrestleMania. I might take Rock off. Top five. You're going to take Rock off? Who will you put? Well, let's hear it, Abel. Only because his career uh, is a short-lived yeah, career. Short career. Yeah. That's why I can't put him in my top five. Okay. So, who, who you right. got? I, I, I respect him. Who's your Mount Rushmore? We're calling you out. Put it out. Who's your mm-hmm. Mount Rushmore? Rick. Rick Flair, obviously. Yep. Right. Brett. Okay. Austin. Okay. Hogan. It's only four of them, right? And or the five. Oh, well, he said, said top five. five. Oh, top five. All right, top five. All right, go ahead. So you took now the top five, so that means the fifth one is uh, Dino Bravo. <laughs> no, no, Dino Honestly, Bravo. I might put Brock over. I might put Brock over Cena. Oh, yeah. Top only five. Be, yo, Cena. Brock Lesnar, but, if you put his name anywhere, he's selling out that damn arena. So say, you said anywhere. So you said Rick. You said Austin, you said Brett, Brock, and, and you could put that's a good if they could go any any who era. Who was the fifth? Hogan. 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 That's you could the put top. All, the top. all five. Oh, yeah. You that, could that's put that's them in any era. Today, last year, next year. Yeah, that's they great. can go. That's solid. That's solid. That's Brock could definitely be in any era. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I know you don't watch AEW, but yo, if AEW were to sign Brock. <laughs> A-E-W. Oh my God! That's the, that's the, that's the other that's part. Yes. Yeah, that's it, Tony Khan, owner of the Jackson. I, I know it'll never happen, but oh shit. my God! You want to talk about blowing up? They got too much talent already. I know. I know. <laughs> How do you feel about my man Goldberg? Were you a Goldberg guy? Yeah, I was a Goldberg guy. I was. I, I, I was. I was just the, uh, the record when he was undefeated and beating everybody, spearing everybody. Who who broke that? I forgot. Nash. Nash. And was it W? At the, yeah, WWE, WWE, Kevin Nash. Nash Scott Hall yeah. came out with a taser with tape on it. And oh, <laughs> he was busting everybody. He was, he was giving everybody work. But he was slowly losing the crowd, though. Like, if you look back, he was slowly losing the crowd. I think it was because we were so used to seeing him end fight so quick. And then when he started fighting for like an hour, two hours, he was like, oh, come on. Yeah, but he that, couldn't. He could not keep the crowd going. Like, yeah, it just, that's why he had short matches. You yeah, them, <laughs> he was excited for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Them quick moves. Boom, boom. boom. I remember as a kid, he, he caught my attention for a little while, and then once the fight started, I'm like, "Come on, man! Like, no, I, I want to was... see Goldberg." Like, the only fans. person, the yeah. only person that probably thought his best match was, I want to say, DDP. Oh, that was good. I think I did see that's that fight. With you the you, know, you didn't see the finish. <laughs> <laughs> we know why <laughs> love it is live. Let me tell you, uh, they ran out of time on pay-per-view. That shit just went black. <laughs> well, I see them. They like, had like 15 minutes left. <laughs> For real? Yo, Yo I might have saw yeah, 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 like yeah, the I feel like I saw that fight. Yeah. There was so many. No, we saw it. We didn't stand it. No, it was like that with... Um, God bless his soul. Uh, what, uh, what's his name? Um, Owen Hart, when he had passed away. Oh, I, I was watching it live on pay per view. Yeah, yeah, I was seeing it. It just shut off. The TV yeah. just shut off. Oh, man. man. I was that, that's one dude. If he were alive today, he would be a coach. Or he, he'd probably love. Yeah, a big impact. Big, yeah. big impact. Yeah, yeah he would. Because he was on his way. He was young. He, he passed real young. He, yeah, he was 30, 34, right? He, he, 34, yeah, that's still your prime. Yeah. Now, he didn't even hit his prime yet. Because I guess wrestlers now, well, nowadays, now they, they, go, that, right? they go about 40, 40, 40, 40, almost 60 years old. They fight for like Yeah, man. They get it in. If you still do it, yeah. go for it, man. That's what's up. If you get a chance, check out the night after WrestleMania 19, after The Rock beat Austin. Okay. Mm. Goldberg showed up to WWE. He made, yeah. his, he made his debut in WWE. That was the day he made his debut. He yeah. made his debut after... Oh, right there. And the rock and they're talking shit. Hollywood rock when you know the rock walking tall, mm-hmm. bald tall head. Yeah. Yeah, they had the black, you know, leather mm-hmm. and all. The Goldberg came out. Yo, he speared the fuck out the rock man. Mm-hmm. Yo. What? Yo. Oh my god. Yo, he I, I was not expecting. I was like, 
That was a good match. Great. The Rock and Goldberg's at Backlash. It was actually Worcester mass. Oh, that fight was in Worcester? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I didn't get to make it to that show, but I really thought about it. But, <laughs> you know, Goldberg's running WWE wasn't uh, that great. I that first one, but, but him and The Rock, that first match he had was really great. Uh, he had a match the next year with Brock Lesnar oh, uh, in Madison Square Garden. That was terrible. Uh, it, it was supposed to be great, and it was not. So the story behind that one is... Brock was going to leave to go play for the NFL. Okay. And Goldberg but Goldberg was, was unhappy with his creator. Stone Cold was the ref. So these dudes, you know, two big muscular dudes just doing like test of strength. Stone Cold in the ring. Let's go, let's go, let's get yeah. it. And then the fans just boom, both of them. <laughs> both they, of them. Because the they knew they were going to leave. Yeah, they both leave. They didn't care. They going to be paid regardless. The That's match crazy. was terrible. Yeah. The highlight of that match... Stone Cold stunned both of them. Basically, yeah, <laughs> stunned both of them. That's my boy. <laughs> that was a massive that's story, boy. Yeah, that's, that's my boy. Terrible. I was there. I was there for that one, and when the show is over, we're leaving the arena. We're walking by the merch stands, and all the people are saying, "Hey, Lesnar and Goldberg shirts half off." What the fuck? They're leaving. <laughs> I look forward to that match. Oh man, that shit was terrible. And they were both world champions, almost leading up into that, and they mm -hmm. lost them months before. Was that even about that? 2004? What's that? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I lost to Eddie and, uh... 05, I want to say I was in the one. It's crazy. Everybody was a wrestling fan at some point, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know. Wrestling. I met this dude just in classroom, in high school, whatever, and somebody made a wrestling reference. Oh, you watch wrestling? Boom. Yeah. Yo, all it takes we is was a little crack. Yeah, that's, that's, that. that's it. Yeah, me and you, says that. Me used to live on Boulder Drive, and... Yeah. I read action figures. You like? I still have to be a dog. Yeah, but you want to this? I got this one. Like, I'll take it, mama. You, I didn't buy that. What you doing? <laughs> 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 Yo, yeah, I, used to get, I used to be put on punishment, and I used to make phone calls to my boys, like, yo, train me this wrestler, whatever, he's coming to my window, he's still wrestling oh. my window. Oh. Hey, he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. We train a wrestler like we train Pokemon. Now I'm kidding about how to do with the new wrestlers yeah, at the window. Yeah, man. New London WWE trainers. Yeah, hey, bro. New daytime trainers. <laughs> bro. What did you get that you traded away that you didn't like so much? Oh, uh, I think it was, um... Psycho Sid. <laughs> I think it was season. I might suck at it. <laughs> you take a Psycho Sid. Now oh, was a collector. He accepted all the everything. Right? Like everything. He took everything. It. Oh, it was always easy to trade with him. Anybody oh. else they ain't take. I'm like, damn, I hit my boy Dom. Dom accepted this. <laughs> Dom took all the rest of it. I wish I saved all mine because I had all the golden arrow ones. Especially when the ring first came out. Yeah, I had I had the ring. I had that blue ring. The blue yeah, ring. Oh. Oh. And then you I press the one. button. The, yeah. The ring announcer. Yeah, that shit was dope. I had yeah. all that shit. I wish I kept in the box. I wish I As a kid, you yeah. ain't yeah. not thinking about that. No, no, I want that ring. Yeah. I used to fall asleep with that shit in my bed. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> oh, I used to have GM mode. I make my own matches every day after school just by myself. Yo, I used to actually make belts out of cardboard. Mm. I, used to oh, like, wow. I used to trace them. I never did that. Dude. I used to trace them. I'm desperate because, yo, I, I, at the time I could never find the belts. When I, we was little, it was 90, yeah, so I, I couldn't find yeah. the belts. But I wanted them so bad. So I, I don't know where the hell I got these cardboards from. I got them from somewhere. I'm probably like 10 years old. <laughs> I, took, I took all the cardboards that we got. Oh, you know where it's from? You know, you ever drink Micah? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. box, yeah. the box, the pass <laughs> that come like 24 or whatever. Oh. So they That's sat. already gold. So they was like, <laughs> But they, used to, be, ones. but they used to be, they used to be one. They used to come packaged, and they used to be that it was just straight brown. It was, it was just straight brown. They didn't have the yellow. Like that's the, it was the yeah. That's the Puerto Rican one. So I used to get that, and I used to just trace the belts, and now I would Puerto literally Rico. copy everything that's on the belt, and I used to make that. I used to be in the house just hitting my toy, my, my stuff, animals, the shit. The rest yeah, of it. I, I hit people outside with my friends. I hit down, down with them, <laughs> but I hit a few friends. I didn't say that. I hit a few friends with the rest of the belts. But you yeah. know what's crazy? We did all this. There was no social media. Yeah, it was, it was, it was no internet. No. Nah. We, were, we was outside. We was playing. We was doing right. your thing. We was outside. Yeah, it was. It was. So crazy. nowadays, it's crazy. to get see any kids out playing, it's, it's crazy. It's sad. Yeah. Oh, we, we had to like, see good. them like this. Yeah, man. Yo, <laughs> our generation, we was, we was in the middle. We was like, we were just technology, and then we got. It was yeah, perfect. it was like, it was yeah, like perfect. Man. Like perfect. Yeah. But like I was saying, everything is different. But back then. It was good guys, bad guys. Yes. Now you see these motherfuckers on social media, best friends and shit. Mm. I kind of don't like that though. I kind of want to 
Like I'm fighting you tonight. Next, you know, me and you ride to the next town together. Like, yeah, I, I, it I makes it. it, yeah, makes it like, yeah, I know it's entertainment, but it but makes it. It messes it up. A little yeah, bit. Do that. it messes it up. When it's a rival, you gotta keep it. A rival. Yeah. That's what you said. You gotta keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. You can uh, believe it. That's why I wish you. If you watch, you should watch MJF. He keeps a kayfabe all day long. Can MJF do that? He's not AEW. He's yeah, the AEW. Yeah, the champ. So you watch more AEW than WWE? Yes. Oh, shit. that's more my, my style. That's good though. That's dope that he watches that. I mean, you yeah, watch more of WWE. Right? I, I watch it all, but WWE. Yeah. And same thing. Yeah, I watch it all, but I am an AEW fan. AEW? I'm, I'm an AEW fan. I think I it's. It. It, I like the luchador style. The I luchador, know, the, the, I like, like the Mexican. Like the yeah, that's a great stereotype wrestler. Yeah. That, yeah, that's entertaining. You know, do flips and all that. But the only yeah. thing I don't like is the non selling. Like, you gotta sell. So basically. Like, well, been selling, been like, selling. Remember back in the day, you take a pile driver, motherfucker, it's done. Like they yeah. do this shit every other move, man. Yeah. They do super kicks all the that's time. The one all like. the time. If Shawn Michaels came back right now, he can't. So do that's, that's, that's most of the guys finishing moves are super kicks. It's, it's like, not even. It's, it's not like a finisher move no more. They just do it. It's, it's like, like a, oh, so yeah. it's not. Like, they just do whatever move and then just end yeah. the fight. Like, Damn, that's it. That's the finish. Yeah. Move. Yeah, you remember the DDT? You see, mad devastating. Nah, that's the one, man. Nah, you know what? If you don't look like Hurts, uh, the pedigree. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that that right. <laughs> you yeah. can't protect yourself. You, so. can, you hit arms up. You, you broke some necks doing that. <laughs> so, turn your hands. Into, oh man, mm-hmm. I think that's more of a stylistic thing with the luchadors, and that's the style that AEW takes because they yes. take it from Japan, they take it from Mexico, and I haven't watched a ton of lucha libre, but they don't sell a lot in lucha, lucha libre as it is, so that's why they don't sell. Yeah, you know, it's I, more high flying, yeah. more. One, two, three, yeah. next transition. It's just so it's like quick matches? Just go, yeah. 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 Just move, next move, next but move, I'm next move. Some of those matches, you don't even realize how long they are. Because there's so much action. Yeah, when Brian Danielson fought uh... Adam Page, almost a whole yeah. hour. Yo, I did not realize. I'm looking at the time, like. Do you know how much stamina you gotta have to fight for a whole hour? Yo. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I, and then that stops, bro. You ain't talking to me a whole you know, an hour? <laughs> yo. That's crazy. And there was no rush moves. How many moves can I do? Like, like, yo, they did not remember all the moves. They did not have a move where you just sit there and just like, all right, they're relaxing, they're getting their breath back. No, they because that boxer they get a break, they get a little mm, yeah, no. a minute break. Yeah, some of the Iron Man matches they built that in where they're like, oh, there's a thirty second rest period. <laughs> this one, the most something yeah, changed yeah, rules yeah. all the time. The most recent one with the MJF and Brian Danielson. They're like, there are no breaks after the pinball. Like, Somebody stop my ass in the corner. <laughs> 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 Somebody stop my ass in the corner. Please. <laughs> Yo, it, it's tough. If you go 60 minutes, I give you mad props for that. I wish I could see Savage do that because he was good. Savage, uh, Savage yeah. probably did plenty of times. Him and um, Rick. Can y'all watch old? I remember back in the day, they used old wrestlers come up. Like I mean, from like the. Not even the 80, it could have been like the 70s, I think. If it's on Peacock, maybe. It was like some old shit. Yeah, they got some You can watch that. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah, yeah. Peacock, yeah. Man, you can find things. It's not everything it. you want, though, as Dom can uh, yeah, yeah, attest yeah. to. It's like, where's the uh, footage of, you know, future Hall of Famer Andy Kaufman? Where, where's, it, where's his footage of him wrestling in Memphis? They don't have it. No. They have highlights. Yeah. They don't have, like, oh, yeah, YouTube for that one. Yeah. I mean, you can find it, you know, yeah. not, maybe not officially, but you can find almost, you can find anything on YouTube, actually. So, yeah. if you can't, it doesn't exist. I wonder why they stopped doing um in your house like the. Yeah. It was just cheaper to just make new. Ones. They it still was have it. Was cheap. It was what? Was it nineteen ninety nine? Twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's kind of cool. Though. I like little that. two hour pay per view. Yeah, yeah. I used to like it. Yeah. Mick Foley, Mankind, he, Vader. He is Mister. He house. really made. I really thought there was three of him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he really. I'm not gonna lie. He fooled the hell out of me. I thought it was a mankind. Uh, uh, what's the other one? Cactus, Cactus Jack, and Dula. Dula. I really thought it was three of them. Which one was your favorite? I like Mankind. Mankind? See? Like old school. I, I told you the same thing. There's like three different versions of Mankind, though. You, you like how... I like see. Mankind. I like original Mankind. Was Thank like, you. Crazy. Was, was it like the Brown sadistic... Shirt? Taking hair off. Oh, yeah. like, with the rap? Was it like the sadistic with the finger, Mankind like, with the, the music? Next thing you know, after he wins the match, they put the sitting in the corner. Yeah. That's it? Yes. That's the Mankind. That's the Mankind. I don't like the Mankind had the tie and the, like, he came off the interview. I ain't like... You came here from an interview when you fought, like... I ain't like that one. I like the man kind of original. Well, he got fat. He got a whole hype as well. But he had a new love. I was in under. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Captain Jack is my guy. You like Captain Jack? Yeah, he's no. hardcore. I feel like they, I feel like I ain't seen him enough. Yeah, he makes. See, see I, I remember him in WCW. That was my thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he was more a WCW character. 
Yeah. Originally, yeah. Early 90s, WCW. That was dumb. Oh, all right, all right. Four ten. But, so Dude Love, what, the fuck, what was he? He just something that So story. the story was behind that is Captain Jack, or Mick Foley, like, he wanted to be like Shawn Michaels. Yep. Mick so, Foley wanted to be like Shawn So Michaels. he came up with Dude Love. He had the chicks in the ring. He had the <laughs> yeah. duets. Yo, I did not know, yo. Yeah. He was not like his original character from back in the day. Yeah, he, as a kid, he... You know, he he, he like named that. himself Do Love. Do Love. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Man. He reminded me of um like they should they should make a movie. This is like a new movie of uh what's the movie with uh Will Ferrell forty that they oh, for your virgin yeah not for your virgin uh Step Brothers yes he looked like man um uh, he looked like Do Love like he could play in Step Brothers like a movie like that I don't know why he just looked like it. <laughs> Yo, Mick was oh man. He be hilarious. He can still get all the girls. Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The step brothers, making the third brother. My mom thought Mick Foley was very attractive. Actually, very handsome. Yeah, very handsome. Is very handsome. Yeah. That's not a mess off. <laughs> Come on, man. No. Oh man. Yo, he used to do the dance. He used to. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, that was his, that was uh, Mick Foley's character, like, growing up, did you create a character for yourself? No. Like, you were a wrestler? No, no. Nah, you I, had your belt, man. I didn't, know. Nah, I, I couldn't, nah. I didn't, I didn't, I really wanted to be like Stone Cold, mm-hmm. I really wanted to be like The Rock. I was trying to raise the eyebrow, I couldn't do it. Everybody mm-hmm. tried to do that. Yeah, I tried. You can do it. Could, did you do it? How the fuck you exercise? How you do that? They saw the eyebrow. I didn't get that. This is the people's eyebrow. This is the corporate eyebrow. <laughs> See, I can't do the left one. I can do the. Yeah, my mom seen him on TV. Like, what's wrong with his lazy eyes? <laughs> <laughs> He's making a statement. Yeah. I'm lazy. Like, what's going on? <laughs> he does that. He makes a statement. Mom. Oh, <laughs> that's why it's great to have observations from like non-wrestling. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, lazy eye on the rock. <laughs> I oh never God. know. Carlito was in the ring, and the great Kali comes out. Just by name only, you can imagine. Seven foot Indian Punjabi guy coming out, and as soon as uh, the great Kali came out, my mom, in Vietnamese, said in translation, like, Carlito, he's fucking dead. (laughs) 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 I was like, oh, oh, nice aspiration. (laughs) Say it in Vietnamese, I'm like, I want to hear it. Yeah, he's Uh, dead. Shut up. Something like that. Chateau? Yeah, something like that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> but he's like murdered. Dead. <laughs> because of your Kelly. I'm going to say that shit on the track, Chateau. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that shit on the rap chat. I probably got it all wrong. Sorry, Vietnamese delegation. Um, Did anyone's mom ever hit you with that? Um, that Sandal? No. Oh, God. 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 Oh, I said so line. Like Cause I said so. so do something so. like yeah, hit you with the stone cold like oh, hey, man. do this. Cause I it's said not, so. Why am I? Cause I said so. I'm like, mother. <laughs> so. Alright. That's where Stone Cold got it from, his mom. Yeah. I get so <laughs> much. She was watching with me and she just laughed like you fucking idiot. Have you ever used like wrestling phrases like in, in real life to shut people down? Like I, we use it in the name of this podcast. Said, it does, it matter. does not matter. I have used this. It does not matter. I cuss my over right now. It doesn't matter. I say just like how the rock said. That's it. I remember I did it to someone. It was, it was like a carnival or something. I'm like something like it doesn't matter. I hate it when people do that. <laughs> uh, Don, did you create a wrestler for yourself, a persona when you were a kid? Uh. Yeah, not really. Am I the only one? Nah, I don't, I don't think I really did. Like, all I know is my go to move the figure four leg lock. Go to like, figure, figure, figure four right now, you let me. <laughs> like, I, that's like my go to. I Do you do the Ric Flair style with the grapevine of the leg? Oh, yeah. I do the whole potent style where you just. Nah, that's just terrible. The laziest way possible. Yeah, nah, I synced it in. But nah, like, I was more like Bret Hart, but doing. Mm-hmm. Doing that, but I don't know. Maybe I had no personality. I knew I was like Chris Benoit, and I'm gonna slam somebody, and you're just so like, real. Yeah, like yeah, like I couldn't talk in the lane, right? I couldn't yeah. do nothing like that. So um, I think the closest would be Razor. I always wanted to be like Razor. Yeah. What's Razor's finishing move? Razor, Razor yeah. I, yo, I I'm the hottest finishers. Finishers. I had boom. That should be dope. Yeah. Wrestling with my cousins, I always hit him with the Razor's edge. 
Two, three, two, two. Yeah, two. So that's about yeah, four, yeah. five years. High, high school years, you know. Yeah, stayed back. So had the best career. So like of overall, two, or out of every, out of everybody. Career? It's hard. It's Dead totally man. Opinion. Yeah. Dead man. What do you think? Taker was the best. Undertaker. 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 Yeah, yeah. But he's in a different category though, because he he is like over Mount Rushmore. You have asked me what WrestleMania match oh, if I want to show a fan yeah, yeah. for the first time. He. No, 26. The retirement match. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. The retirement match. You, you like watched that. Number two better? <sighs> I like one. Nobody knew it was Shawn's last match. Man, no one knew, man. Nobody Shit. knew. Street was ending that night. Right? I like number one after, It was good. It was the first time. But yo, it was, the story behind it. Yeah. So basically, the 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 headline for that match was, which was, wasn't the main event for that night too? WrestleMania yeah. 26? Yeah, yeah that, that was the match. Yep. Undertaker's streak versus Shawn Michaels' career. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. It. yeah. That match right there, they went at least a good half hour or something. Yeah, Undertaker yeah. won that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this man tombstone the hell out of him, man. <laughs> yeah, that man jumped up and yeah. tombstone him, man. Yeah, yeah. Undertaker. I don't know, man. For some reason, I like one better. It was the first one, yeah, but then you, you know, a stipulation to it. Yeah. Um. Uh-huh. If I, if I had to pick a, a WrestleMania moment versus a match, uh, it, would, uh, it would be Kofi Mania at WrestleMania 35. Kofi Mania, yeah. Yeah. That we, no, no, that. You said, I thought you said a match. Yeah, there's a no, moment, match. Okay, match, yeah, so a moment. moment. Yeah, Kofi yeah, Kofi. Mania. So Kofi Mania. Oh, Kofi Mania, I heard of a match. Yeah. That's when Kofi Kingston Still good match won too. the first, you know, won yeah. the first African American one yeah. the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Yeah. Oh, sure. so yeah, so that was big. Sure. I was there. I cried, like, I, yeah, you know, because he was the first black WWE champion. I don't consider The Rock black, because, you know, he always he like talk about his Samoan shit. Yeah. yeah. So, Mark Henry, he won the World Heavyweight like, title, he the never, WWE title. He like, this won. is the WWE shit. And he should have. I felt like yeah. he should have. Yeah, so that was emotional for me. I'm not going to lie. I shed should, I should some tears, too. Without yeah. Another, another one I, I replay and I watch a lot, that Kofi kicks in Daniel Bryan. And the whole match till the end, you know. Yeah. So what what match you say that now? Like is that coffee guy like one of the top dudes now? Like no, <laughs> no. no. But, 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 but you know what? He was. He's still hot. Like him, him and his group is still. He don't have nothing. The new day, not. Nah, but he's, oh, still, but he's still, he's still over. He's yeah, he's still, still over. He's still making money. Yeah. His group, the new day, they still promoting and they got the YouTube channel up, up, down, down, video game channel. They doing it all. Like yeah. kids love them, so they still making money. They still yeah. As long as you got T-shirts. And they had their own box of cereal. That's the I gotta find my box of bootyos. Bootyos. Make yeah. sure. Just like my booty charms. <laughs> what does that taste so good? What, it tastes like booty or some shit? Make sure you <laughs> What did you say? They they make know. sure. Booty hey, booty. hey, That's all. They ain't booty. That's what it is. They ain't booty. All right, well, we got a lot of great WrestleMania matches and moments that we talked about, but uh, that wraps up this week eight special edition of the It Doesn't Matter podcast. And for Dom, Abel, and 95, owner of American Barrel Apparel, and John and myself, we will see you next time. CT. New London. Bronx. Huh? Yo. 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 I'm from the hood, you either ball or record. Trapper life, big or small, can't recall from the day before.